Hello YouTube, I'm, uh, I'm back with another uh, thrilling day of adventure for me. Uh, didn't shoot a video coming out of, uh, coming out of Amazon um, early this morning because I uh, honestly didn't feel like I had anything to say. <laughs> it was a pretty, pretty uneventful night at the Amazon. Uh, other than I, um, I did spend the entire entire shift as a line loader as opposed to a water spider which I, I prefer doing water spider and I, I think the, the, my direct management on the ship also prefers me doing water spider but uh, I have my reasons which I might get into later and, and the uh, management fully supported me on it so uh, anyway it's 3.58 um, p.m. so almost 4 o'clock uh, Tuesday April 5th 2022. My, this year is just passing by so fast. Here I am a third of the way through the year, still walking. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm so torn because I've really, really gotten into the, uh, the subreddit fuck cars and, 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 and emotionally behind the, uh, behind the, um, the whole car free society movement. I, I really am. But god damn I miss driving and I'm so sick of walking. So um, I know that's that's completely hypocritical and conflicted. It just kind of is what it is. But um, you know and everybody around you is driving and moving so much faster than you are. Except for the one random guy on the skateboard falling on his ass. Um, because he's trying to ride a skateboard and look at a smartphone at the same time. That was, that was epic. There's a Darwin Award waiting for you eventually, dude. <laughs> yeah. Well, uh, nothing like a little, uh, oh, what's, what's, what's the word? Schuden, Schweinfrieden? Something like that? What's the, there's a German word for feeling better when you, uh, look at the misfortunes of others. And, and I gotta admit, watching that guy on the skateboard made me feel a, a whole lot better about my own misfortune so um since i'm no longer driving my bends and that guy looks pretty comfortable driving his uh, um so gosh I, I, l I look at all these piles of pallets here behind costco and i i it makes me it makes me kind of kind of want to talk about the Amazon thing, but I don't think, I don't think now's the time for it. Um, and these, these blue pallets <laughs> and red pallets uh, have kind of everything to do with what's going on with me at uh, Amazon. Um, but I, I'm just going to stop at the fact that uh, uh, my, my main supervisor in my department uh, Lonnie is fucking awesome. I, I, I just can't think of a better word to describe her. And um, it, at this point, and mind you, I've I've really not had a lot of uh, workplace experience where there's uh, layers of uh, layers of. Um, management, multiple, multiple layers of management, between the person at the top who happens to be uh, a supervillain who flies in a giant penis-shaped rocket to myself. Um, so so it's, it's hard for me to make a comparison uh, without going back to, you know, when I was a teenager in my very early 20s working at fast food jobs. Um, and I guess some, some, look at that thing flying through the parking lot. I think I was far off to the side, or I probably got plowed down. Uh, anyway, um, yeah, it's hard for me to really make comparisons. Generally speaking, I've been doing, I, I, I've more or less been directly my own boss and just working as a subcontractor, providing entertainment services, in which case I was pretty much either directly reporting to like the the general manager of the bar or restaurant I was, I was hosting karaoke or DJing at, or I was, uh, I was, uh, 
actually, you know, working directly with the owner of, of the business. So, so yeah, I, it's hard for me to make a comparison, but I hear so many people talk about just how awful their direct supervisors are, and uh, I can't say enough good things about having Lonnie as my direct supervisor over at Amazon. It's, uh, it's, um, yeah, had a great, great talk with her about what's going on. I, I said I wasn't going to talk about that. What am I talking about? That. Anyway, I'm just going to end it with uh, Lonnie is awesome. Um, and while not exactly a supervisor, I know he's kind of higher up the, the hierarchy and certainly one I can go to with problems. Uh, um, it, one, of, one of my coworkers, Austin, also has been really awesome there. And... And, and last night was, uh, was a great, great, you know, thoroughly enjoyable night. Um, and, uh, um, sorry, my brain is just slipping into jello. Uh, it, it was actually kind of a nice change being a line loader again, uh, got to hang, uh, Spent quite a, time, a bit of time during the work shift actually chatting with my friend Garfield, which was uh, pleasant. And some of the other coworkers that I, I really don't talk to my coworkers hardly all, at all because I'm usually moving around the warehouse on a pallet jack and just kind of in my own world. So it was, it was a little nice being actually near people and actually chatting with some people for a change. Um, I still, <laughs> it didn't matter what work area it was, I still was gravitating towards towards uh, stacking up pallets <laughs> in whatever area it was and making the stacks neat. And I got some, uh, I got some, uh, <laughs> I did get comments from other people. It's like, like, for someone who says it's not working to pallets tonight, you sure are spending a lot of time stacking up pallets. I'm like, I'm like, yeah, it's sort of, it's sort of my calling. What can I say? Uh, so anyway, what am I doing right now? Obviously, I'm I'm on my way to uh, Amazon, and obviously not directly on my way to Amazon. That dog looks super familiar. I think I think that guy used to bring that dog into Castaways when I was the karaoke DJ. That dog looks super super familiar. Anyway, um, yes, yeah, so uh, what am I doing right now? Uh, I'm on my way to Target, which is right in front of me, which means I need to wrap this video up uh, quickly. Um, as I'm sure you, you will have noticed if you're watching any of my videos to the end, um, I've been having a disproportionately large amount of my videos lately, ending with just getting cut off because my phone has run out of space. Uh, I will usually mention it when that happens in the uh, in the video description. So please, when you're when you're watching my videos, take a peek at the video description because I usually add some more information there. I mean, granted, a lot of times it's just the uh, it's just the day, date, and time. Oh, and of course, I got a shoe untied already. God, it's just like an everyday occurrence occurrence for me. Hello, how you doing? It's tying my right shoe as per always. Um, so yeah, that's kind of a uh, it's, I usually try to put in the description a little bit more information, especially in the videos that get cut off. I, I try to put in, like, what, it, you know, it's like, hey, I got cut off in a sentence. This is what I was saying. Um, and also some more information. And, and if something really noteworthy happens in the video, which uh, some of the more noteworthy things that have happened to me in the last couple of days, uh, I did have a security guard at my uh, closest... Um, Wells Fargo Bank branch just come at me and yell at me to get off the property when I had done absolutely nothing other than just simply walk onto the property as a customer. Um, that was that was interesting. Uh, I also had a um, I also had a bus pull over to just do the most insanely dangerous maneuver to pull over to. Uh, Pick me up. Uh, it was Route 44, uh, heading northbound, uh, stop at Oak Street. Uh, as I was, uh, as I was um, 
as I was sitting there, as I was there at the stop, and granted, I've, I've watched that video a few times because it's, it's kind of crazy what the, what the driver did, and I think I, I do have a tendency when I can to approach the bus stop sort of at the last minute, and that is largely enabled by the... Uh, one of my alarms is going off in my pocket. One of my phone alarms. It's the one on the Samsung. I'm, I'm shooting a video on Obama phone number three, the uh, TCL T-Mobile thing. So, yeah, that was my alarm to wake me up. I'm already awake. I'm already out the door. Thank you. Um, hey, that's an interesting place to park a motorcycle. Um, yes, I walked by Target. I just wanted to get this off my chest. Uh, so the... Uh, um, oh, my God. Stop. I can't wait to hear how that sounds in the video. That was my alarm going off on this phone. Uh, you know, when I, when I get up early and, and head out the door early, I really need to make a point to, to, to shut off my goddamn alarms because, wow, that's annoying. Um, anyway, uh, Oh gosh, where was I? So, uh, a, a lot of times, yeah, I, I'm I'm not standing at the bus stop for for ten minutes waiting all the time, especially when I can. Uh, largely, I can I can. Sometimes I'm not standing by the stop because there's sketchy people at the stop. You know, there's people smoking at the at the stop. I mean, even if they're just smoking cigarettes, I'm not a smoker, so I don't want to be around somebody smoking cigarettes. So if there's somebody sitting at the bus stop, that's camped out there. And you can definitely tell somebody's camped out versus somebody, well, usually tell somebody's camped out versus somebody that's waiting for the bus. Um, see, campers. Um, then I, uh, I will, um, I will, uh, generally wait a distance away from the bus stop and I'll watch the, and unless I'm vlogging, of course, uh, I'll, I'll, a distance away from the bus stop and I'll watch the transit app and the tracking of the bus and I'll approach the bus stop as the bus stop as the bus is approaching the bus stop and I think what happened with that bus on the northbound 44 is that uh, and, and this could kind of be traced back to the way that that Costco um, causes such a traffic jam uh, with its with its uh, um, with its line that is not self-contained within their property of all the people waiting to get gas. Um, the, uh, another motorcycle parked on the, uh, on the, uh, sidewalk. Interesting. Um, um, uh, so I think what's, what's happening is that there's not only the backup on, on Oak that I notice all the time, but there's also a, uh, I think there's probably a backup in the right lane trying to turn right on Oak from northbound 44th Street. And I think the Route 44 driver is getting into a habit of, as he approaches that backup, looking forward. That's interesting, a bike trailer. Looks like a, home, looks like a homemade one. It's, it's pretty damn neat, actually. Uh, um, it's pretty nice too. Uh, anyway, I, I, I think he's, he's getting into the, hey, now there's some interesting graffiti. Look, the hearts and stars. All right, that makes me miss my daughter, Lily. Moving on. Um, yeah, I, I think this driver's probably got in the habit of trying to avoid that traffic backup, which granted can slow it down, slow him down a lot. Um, and looking forward, and if you can't see somebody standing at the curb at, uh, standing at the curb at, uh, Oak Street at the bus stop there, is getting into the middle lane so he can pass all the backup of people trying to turn right to go onto Oak Street, and then merging back into the right lane with the assumption of, hey, nobody's going to approach that bus stop at Oak. Well, I approached that bus stop at Oak. And and I probably approached it after he made his decision to change lanes. Um, 
Yeah, I, I, I think something ultimately needs to be done about the, the backup that's being caused by people waiting in line for gas there. But uh, meanwhile, it doesn't excuse the fact that what that driver did in an attempt to keep himself on schedule, and I appreciate the effort to keep the buses on schedule, uh, what he did resulted in him uh, coming across, basically cutting cars off to come to a dead stop. Um, several yards past the bus stop to pick me up and, and it, it's a super unsafe maneuver uh, I'll try to remember to link that video in this video's um, description but uh, in, in that video's description there's a uh, there's a uh, text uh, there, in the description there's a, there's a link to the time and you click on the time and it, it takes you right to the, the incident with the bus and I, I haven't deleted that one off the phone I, I do when I, I'm a little less backed up on uploading videos I do want to edit that that clip out because uh, it's um, it's a pretty freaky maneuver and um, I'm just really thankful that the vehicle that that bus cut off didn't plow right into him because um, it it could have that could have very easily happened. So uh, anyway, I'm backtracking to Target. Uh, this, this is a long-winded reminder to to please check out my video descriptions when you're looking at my videos, just for additional information. Uh, I, I have been trying to put some effort into those lately, and. Um, yeah, as, as always, thanks for watching. Uh, hopefully Target has got some reasonable prices on uh, micro SD cards. Uh, I, I priced them on eBay, and maybe I should have ordered them on, uh, ordered, ordered a couple on eBay when I priced them, because I think if I ordered them, they'd probably showed up in the mail, you know, like <laughs> today, or, or would be showing up tomorrow, and they, it was free shipping. But the, the prices struck me as, as pretty, pretty inexpensive and, and I didn't look at specific sizes and whatnot obviously I want to get you know a, a larger size for obvious reasons but um, um, the uh, um, ooh, ball um, the uh, I I was at a CVS uh, so last Saturday night I got stuck in Tempe due to lack of public oh look there's a self-driving car of some kind just love self-driving cars that's a cruise dumpling is the name of the car I've seen the cruise vehicles before and they don't have numbers car numbers they have car names and that one is named dumpling I'm every time I see one of those I keep saying to myself I'm gonna google and find out what the company's about and I have yet to do that and I guess it's just because I don't see those nearly as much as I see uh uh, um, Google's um, Waymo self-driving vehicles out here. Uh, anyway, um, yeah, so the one place I've actually popped in to try to purchase a uh, micro SD card was the CVS when I was stranded due to a lack of public transportation back here, uh, stranded in downtown Tempe on Saturday night. Um, the uh, um, they were completely sold out of micro SD cards. <laughs> the cashier was like, oh, here's one. And I'm like, no, that's a USB flash drive, not a micro SD card. I can't put that in my phone. Um, and um, yeah, uh, they were completely sold out, but I did see the spots in the pegboard where they would be with the descriptions and the, uh, and the prices. And I think they wanted something like I want to say $40 or $45 for a 64 gig, um, or maybe it was even a 32 gig, and, and maybe I'm misquoting the price and the, and the size, but whatever it was, it struck me as a absolutely outrageous price compared to what I was seeing on eBay. So um, CVS, not exactly known for bargain prices on anything. So uh, hoping I find a better deal at Target, but Target, eh, it's a crapshoot as to whether I'm gonna find a deal here, but... Uh, I'm, uh, I'm looking, and this is another reminder, I need to get my damn red card, because I'd be more willing to spend uh, extra, you know, a little bit more for one if I could put it on the uh, red card and get some points and shit for it.